Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new modular control rig creator inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. The modular control rig is a brand new system that allows you to create a robust animation rig for any character or skeleton very quickly and efficiently. It allows you to drag and drop presetted controls onto your character. So you have things like the arms, legs, fingers, and spine to choose from. And once you drag and drop it, it automatically creates the rigs and gizmos needed to start animating your character in Unreal Engine. This new modular control rig workflow enables you to not have to manually and meticulously create a control rig from scratch, but rather it automates the process of creating an animation rig to just a couple of clicks. Whether you are interested in creating animations in engine for your games or animating your digital characters or things like creating short films and virtual production, a new modular control rig will speed up your workflow, allowing you to create animation ready control rigs. Now, before we dive into the video, check out my courses on smartpoly.teachable.com. If you are interested in making games inside of Unreal Engine, luckily for you, I have a complete multiplayer survival game course, which shows you step by step how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine. I'm going to be remastering this course in Unreal Engine 5.4 and adding some new features in the course like controller input support, first and third person mode, and so much more. So if you haven't picked the course up yet, I highly recommend you do as I will be remastering it when they release Unreal Engine 5.4. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So to get started, you want to make sure that you first have Unreal Engine 5.4 installed. Currently I have the 5.4 preview one version. This is sort of like the beta version and you want to make sure that you have the control rig modules plugin enabled. So go ahead and go up to edit and plugins and you want to search for control rig and just make sure that you have this control ring modules enabled. So go ahead and hit that checkbox if it isn't enabled and restart your project. It is currently enabled by default. Also, you'll notice that it is a experimental plugin, so it is subject to any changes or updates. So now that we have the plugin enabled, we're going to add a custom character to demonstrate how easy it is to create a modular control rig for it. I'll be using this free pirate character, so you can just search this up on the marketplace, add it to your project, and search up the project, select it, choose the latest compatible version, in this case it's 5.3, and just click add to project. You can really try this with any character that you want. So just note, you don't have to follow exactly along You can really try this with any humanoid character. And even it doesn't have to be a human type character. And we'll see that later on in the video. All right, so now that we have that pirate character, or at least a character that we can use, let's create the modular control rig asset. So to create this asset, you just wanna right click in your content browser and go over to the animation tab and all the way down to control rig, we just want to add a normal control rig asset. So go ahead and select that. Then a menu is going to pop up and you're gonna see that you have two different options. So first we have the control rig option. This is what you'd use if you wanted to manually create a control rig. I have a full video detailing that process and how to create a control rig. But in our case, we want to select this modular rig and let's go ahead and click create on that. And then we can just rename this to pirate rig and just double click and open that up now the first time you open this up you're going to see a bunch of new windows so the first of which is this compiler results for whatever reason this window just pops up let me just close that we don't actually need that now your first time inside of this ui or inside the modular control rig window i'm going to explain all the user interface that you see here and just note that things might move around or be updated in newer versions of the engine but first of all, we have here the module assets. So these are the different presetted options that we get. We'll come back to all this in a second. We have things like the hierarchy. So this will show us sort of like the bone hierarchy of our modules. In the center, we have things like the viewport. We have your standard viewport control, so you can look around, move around, all that stuff. And then over here on the right, we have things like the details, preview scene settings, and the rig hierarchy. So the very first thing that we need to do is select our character that we'll be creating the rig for. In our case, we want to go to preview scene settings and under the preview mesh, you want to hit the drop down. And since I've added that pirate character, I'm going to select this SK pirate underscore full underscore zero one. So that will add in our pirate mesh. And again, you can use this for any character that you want to try this out with. So now that we have this pirate character added here in our rig. And the very first thing that you can see is we have a basic control for the movement of our character. And to select the controls, you can just left click on it. And it will give you a little gizmo. And then if you hover over this, these little sockets are gonna tell you exactly what 
you need to drag and drop onto. So if you hover over this, it's going to say the name of that socket, Spine01 socket, and it says drag and drop the Spine module here. So if we look over in our module assets, if we scroll down, we have this Spine asset. And actually, let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger so you guys can see. So we hit this little uh, gizmo icon right here, the gear icon. We can show this as tiles, and then we can also hit the gear icon and make the thumbnail size medium. That way you guys can see all of the different modules that we have to work with. So it wants us to drag and drop the spine module here. So if we go into our module assets, we have this spine module. We just drag and drop this and it'll automatically add that control. And also in the module hierarchy, you'll see that it automatically finds the bones. So we have the pelvis bone. You can see that it assigned the pelvis bone, the spine end bone and the spine start bone are automatically assigned. And this is because the bones were all named properly. And so it'll automatically find the end and start bone based on the names of those bones, okay? And now you can see it added this little control for our spine or for our hips. And it also added more of these different sockets. So if you hover over these different sockets, you can see what we need to add next. So if I hover over this shoulder L socket, it says place the shoulder module here. So if we go back into our module folder, we can select our shoulder module and just drag and drop it on there. And now you can see it adds this shoulder control right above the left shoulder. Again, let's take our shoulder module and drag it on the shoulder R. I will add the right shoulder control. And a very nice thing about this is that it color codes this. So it adds blue left and red for the right. And then down here, if we hover over this, the hand L socket, it says place the arm module here. So let's go ahead and take the arm module and drag and drop it like so. And I can see it adds in these arm controls. So I can select this arm right here. I can press E to rotate. I could select this part of the arm and rotate it like so. And if you want to reset it, you just hit the compile button right here and that will go ahead and reset any movements or rotations that you do to the character's skeleton, okay? So as you can see, we're starting to add controls to our character by just dragging and dropping these modules onto the different sockets that it tells us to add. So let's go ahead and add the right arm module. So take the arm and drag it and drop it on the right hand socket. I'll go ahead and add those controls for our right arm. Then down here, it says thigh L socket. So we wanna place the leg module here. Let's go ahead and take the leg module and drag and drop it there. Looks like it didn't add it. So let's go ahead and redo that. Drag and drop it. It actually did add it. So if you scroll in the module hierarchy, sometimes if it has trouble assigning proper bones, you're going to see that here are the modules added. So you can see there are currently no bones assigned. It's highlighted red, none. So we can go ahead and delete that module, select it and delete it. And let's go ahead and try re-adding it again. Drag the leg and drop it on the thigh L. And if we scroll down, you can see that it properly assigned everything. So we have the leg, the thigh bone, this assigned a thigh L, the pelvis, the foot bone, and all that stuff. And if we actually go down here, we have this foot control. So if I select it and press W, I can move the leg. And you can see that we have IK already set up on it. So I can start moving the foot up and down. And basically it'll set up IK for our character's leg. We're very neat that it allows us to do that. Let's go ahead and set up the right leg. So let's take the other leg module and drag and drop it on there. And again, it adds another control. And also if we were to take things like the hip control right here, you can see that the IK is properly working for the legs. I can pose it up and down like so. And our character's joints are all moving like that. Okay, these pull controls are a little bit far out and I believe you can manually adjust things like the offset and the details. But for now, this will do fine. Now there's other different controls that we can add. So if you hover closer, we have things like controls for the fingers. So for things like the fingers, we have a finger module. We just drag and drop it on various different fingers like so and we'll add in controls for our fingers. Let's go ahead and drag all of these. You can see that it's starting to add controls. Just drag and drop these. Okay, so that one failed to assign, so let's go ahead and delete that. Try and redrag and drop it. That's good, and there we go, okay? So now we have controls for our fingers. So we can select these. You can see that it allows us to rotate things like the finger bones and all that stuff. So we can go ahead and do that for the right hand. We also have things like the head. 
So if you hover over the head, it says place the neck module here. So we have a neck module, just drag and drop it right there. And that will add in a head control. So you could select that. You could do things like rotate the head. So let's say we're all done with this rig. Now that we've created this very simple module rig with just a couple of drag and drop clicks, we are now ready to start using this rig to either animate it in the engine, create animations for your games, or we can create things like a sequence if we wanted to create some sort of short film, or if we want to use it for things like virtual production. So to start using this rig, all you have to do is drag in this modular rig into your level, and you're going to see that it automatically pops open with the animation mode, so it'll put us into the animation mode, just like if you were to drag in a normal control rig. So if you are familiar with using a normal control rigs, it's essentially the same process. If I close my content browser here, I can go and zoom up on our character. So we can actually start animating in the engine by just dragging and dropping this modular control rig. So for example, if I were to take something like the hip control, I can go into the sequence or the timeline and add a key. So I can select the body control and click on this little icon to add a key, move it halfway on the timeline, move our character down. Let's turn off the snapping. We don't need the snapping there. So we just disable the snapping. So it gives us a smooth location. You can see we can move our character down and our feet have that IK. So we can move him down like this, like he's sitting down in a chair. And now you can see we have a very simple animation playing. If you just press spacebar, you can play through the animation. Okay, so you can very easily start animating your character and rotating controls and create whatever animation you want to create for your character, whether that be for games or for short films or virtual production. And the very neat thing about this is that the process was very quick, very streamlined, especially compared to creating a control rig manually from scratch. Creating something like this from scratch would take, you know, well over an hour creating all the gizmos and assigning them to all the different bones. But now with the modular control rig, it's a lot easier. It's just dragging and dropping certain modules that are presetted onto the different sockets and allowing it to automatically assign the different controls based on the names of your bones. Now, the neat thing about the module control rig is that there are other different modules for things other than characters. For example, we have this chain module. So if you hover over any of these, you'll probably notice that you can see exactly what these modules are used for. So it has a little description that says creates a chain rig can be FK or IK base and includes optional dynamics. So this works better when the target bone chain is straight, but not required. So you can add a chain for maybe like a tail on a creature, or really any type of chain of bones. Also, we have this piston module. So this adds a piston rig with bi-directional aim constraints and also be used as an aim mechanism. So you can see that we have these other different controls that you can use for things that are not necessarily a character model. And these are just all of the preset controls that it currently comes with, but obviously they're going to be adding a lot more. And I haven't tested out trying to rig a quadruped character, like a animal or something like that, but I'm sure you probably could use some of these different controls to do so. And also in the future, I'm certain they're gonna be allowing support and more different modules for doing just that. So yeah, that is the module control rig inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. This is still experimental which means that they can change or update things like the UI. They might add more features and it's still very early in development. So I expect them to add a lot more flexibility and future modules. In my honest opinion, I think this is a great tool because it saves you a lot of time in creating a control rig to animate your character with just a couple of clicks. Whereas before you'd have to create one from complete scratch and it might take you over an hour or two to do so. Now let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Is this something that makes you want to get into animating characters in Unreal Engine now that the process for rigging is something more streamlined? Let me know what you guys think and also check out my multiplayer survival game course on smartpoly.teachable.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.